Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo. But you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see pricing and more information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2004 Gulfstream B-Touring Cruiser 5211 with 39,182 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2004 Gulfstream B-Touring Cruiser 5211. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We're going to go through a full demo with you at the time of sale. Got 76 inches of headroom. This is our air conditioner. These are air conditioner ducts. You can have this blow directly out here like you would normally see, or you can have it come out of the ducts. Got a fantastic fan up here. This runs on DC power, so you can use this as an attic fan at night, bring the cool outside air in. Got a TV antenna crank. You do not want to drive around with this TV up. These are speakers that play whatever the driver and passenger are listening to up front. Got a skylight back here. Our furnace is also ducted. Our thermostat here will control the air conditioner and the furnace just like home. Got three seat belts here on the jackknife sofa. Got one seat belt here on the forward facing dinette portion. Two up front. So a total of six seat belts. Got some manuals. Got a window with a screen on this portion over here. Drop the curtain down for privacy. Screen portion over here. Got the same shade there. Pull that down. So our jackknife sofa here is going to pick up on the front and pull out. Got some marks here and there on the couch. It's in nice condition still. So you're going to be able to pull this up and out, make one sleeping area here. You can use the dinette for games, whatever you'd like. Or you can also drop the table down and move the cushions to fill in the gap, and you're going to have another sleeping area there. I'm going to go and drop some pictures now so you can see what this looks like made up and get some measurements. The jackknife sofa measures approximately 72 inches north-south or front-to-back and 42 inches east-west or side-to-side. -side. The dinette bed measures approximately 70 inches north-south or front-to-back and 36 inches east-west or side-to-side. -side. There's room to walk through the aisle with both beds made. Here below the jackknife sofa we have our water pump and our fresh water tank. Moving now towards the rear of the coach. Got a couple screw holes here. So we probably had something hanging. Noxious gas detector. This is our fuse panel, coach battery disconnect. This will disconnect the coach battery system to prevent parasitic draw. We'll also disconnect the coach battery system from the charging systems, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you drive. We've got a two-way fridge freezer two-way meaning it runs on AC power or propane gas so your shore power plug-in or your generator got instructions in the bottom of the freezer box it's nice having the separate fridge freezer you can take a lot more sizable food with you here in the entryway we've got a couple light switches this is for the porch light and a trunk light this is to disconnect the power step that will stop it from going in and out every single time you open and close this door fire extinguisher this is a furnace duct got a screen door here while you get more airflow. Got some screw holes here. Somebody might have had a little handle to help them get in. Microwave, this runs on AC power. So our shore power plug-in or our generator. Got a fan and light on that. Paper towel holder. Three burner propane cooktop. Nice big drawer. Got three small drawers just like that. Little spot here for your dishwashing goodies.
dual basin sink. The rear window does not open. Drop this down for privacy. Got AC power here so you can plug in your coffee pot. This is a little knife holder. There's a switch for the light inside the shower here. We're gonna see in just a moment. This is our little control center. Got our generator start stop. We've got an Onan 4K generator. Water heater on off. This runs on propane, it ignites itself. Levels test, we'll light these up. Do not always trust these, do not consider these gospel. They can be finicky. Water pump on off. That's gonna pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. Cabinet above the kitchen sink. Nice, easily accessible bathroom. A little bit of step up and into the tub. Got the raise up there in the ceiling to help you get more headroom if you're taller. Little towel bar, AC power. Sorry about that squeaky door. A little WD-40 on that. We've got another furnace duct here. Got our stool, toilet paper holder, and a light switch for the vanity light here. So got another nice big mirror with a light overhead. Also got an exhaust fan in here. Here we are standing in the back of this B Touring Cruiser. Where does a fish keep its money? In a riverbank. Got AC power here, DC power plug in. So this will run directly to the coach battery system. You can plug something in there while you're driving. Another AC plug in. Do have some spots down here that you can tuck things behind the driver and passenger seat. Two AC plug-ins there. Got our TV remotes. Little tape mark there in the back. So all in all, we've got a nice specimen here for a 2004, a little over 39,000 miles on the odometer. I'm going to call this one an 8 out of 10 cosmetically. It's gone through our full inspection process. We're going to go through that full demo with you at the time of sale, show you everything working, and answer any questions you have. Check this out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we have manual windows, locks, and mirrors, tilt, cruise and CD player. Got vinyl floor up here. Make it easier to keep things clean. Got a glove box. Nice clean upholstery. Not seeing any signs of smoking in the form of stains, burns, or funny smells. So it's tough to say for certain. I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. Got a switch over here. It's an auxiliary start. If you were to run the engine battery dead, you can push and hold this and it will jump start you from the coach battery system. Alrighty, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2004 Gulfstream B Touring Cruiser 5211. This RV measures 23 feet bumper to bumper with a 10 foot manual awning. The tires have 4522 date codes. This Gulfstream is built on a Chevy 3500 Express chassis with a 6 liter V8 engine with 39,182 miles. Storage down here. Got dual rear wheels. This is the back of our furnace. This is where the furnace will exhaust. Back of the refrigerator. Some age on the decals. Some of them are better looking than others. Got power steps. They're gonna pop out when you open the door. Gonna make it nice and easy to access this coach. Got a handle to help you get up and in. Got two AC plug-ins so you can plug things in beneath the awning. This is the back of the water heater. This is our propane tank. It's mounted to the unit. You have to drive somewhere to have this filled. We've got a gauge on the left and a valve there on the right to turn it on and off. Got a ladder for rooftop access. Got some discoloration on the stripes. Looks like somebody might have poked a little hole here at one time and this was patched. Got a tow package.
Come around now to the driver's side. Got our sewer drains down here. The gray is the small pipe. The black is back here. You're gonna pull the black first, then the gray. Everything's gonna come out of this hole here. Got a storage compartment with our coach battery. It's a clever little addition by one of the previous owners. Gonna make this easy to use while you're dumping your tanks. This is for sewer hose storage. This door is broken. However, this really never ends up getting used anyways because it's hard to put the sewer hose in there. Got our shore power cord. It's a 30 amp service. Got a plug here for uh, TV cable. Little cap there on the top of that's getting kind of old. Got our sewer, or excuse me, our city water in. So your hose is gonna come in here. It's gonna provide water for the coach. This is where we're gonna fill the onboard fresh water tank. This is a fill for the engine and the generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank so you cannot strand yourself. Got a storage compartment here. Got a Generac 4K generator. This is one of the newer quiet ones. Not as new as the new, new inverter ones. Still quieter than your older generators that you may be used to. Got a nice Gulfstream B Touring Cruiser here. Got a little bit of checking up top. But all in all, a nice looking coach. None of these things are things you're gonna notice when the RV's driving by. Check this one out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Mm -hmm.